The FDA doesn't specify if companies can't have consequences for employees who don't get the vaccine. That's what we're seeing right now with Delta Airlines. They're charging employees who pass on the shots. Tonight, our Allison Gormley tells us what's the deal with this insurance incentive. That extra charge is $200 a month. So why can Delta Airlines charge unvaccinated workers? We turn to medical billing expert Jonathan Hess. Delta Airlines is self-insured, meaning they pay customer claims themselves, not a big insurance company. You really can't do anything from a health plan perspective. So what they're doing is part of the wellness program. Wellness programs can offer incentives or surcharges for lifestyle choices like exercising or smoking. If employees don't want to pay a surcharge, they can always drop the company health insurance, either going on a spouse's or buying it through marketplace. So can this happen to me? Well, it depends. If your company or insurer offers a wellness program, it can implement a surcharge like Delta Airlines did for not getting vaccinated. Keep in mind there are still exceptions for people with religious or health issues. If you have marketplace insurance or Obamacare, you shouldn't see this because of the laws in place. They don't ask me if I um, have been vaccinated for being with measles, mumps, rubella, dot, 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 right? They can't ask, you know, any of those things. So Keep in mind, companies can also mandate vaccines, skipping the insurance route altogether. That is, if the state didn't ban a mandate.